Hi there, my name is Miss Townsend and I love math. Welcome to Math with Townsend. This video is for grade 10 students who are studying quadratic relations. This is question number four of a series of word problems that we're working on. And here's the question. It says the approximate stopping distance, D in meters, of a car traveling at V kilometers per hour is given by the formula blah, 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 blah. So let's look carefully at the formula before we even read what we're supposed to do with it. Let's really understand this formula well. So here's the formula. And again, D was the stopping distance of a car. V was the speed in kilometers per hour. So, and it makes sense, I guess, just logically that the faster you're going, the more distance you need to stop your car. Let's make sure that this, this um, formula reminds us that that's true. So first of all, a car traveling zero. So, uh, sorry, um, the, we notice there's a plus zero over here, right? So we have V squared V and then plus zero, which indicates to us that a car traveling at a velocity of zero, so zero, uh, or a speed of zero, will need zero stopping distance. And I hope that makes sense to everybody. It does to me. Um, and then what else do we notice? Well, we notice that the starting value is zero and it's a positive parabola. So to get an idea about this, we have cars going at a certain velocity or if you want speed. Um, I apologize to science people out there. I know velocity and speed are not exactly the same, but for grade 10 students, let's pretend. So the V represents the speed, D represents the stopping distance. So we know we have a, stop, a starting value of zero and a positive parabola. So this is roughly what's going on, which means that the faster a car is going, the greater the stopping distance. So the faster a car is going, the greater the stopping distance. So that's pretty much what the scenario is. And here's the exact equation. And here's a rough idea of what's going on. So now let's look at part A. It says, what is the stopping distance of a car traveling 80 kilometers per hour? So what is the stopping distance is telling us find D when V is 80. So the speed is 80, find D. So I'm just going to do a straight substitution. There's no real grade 10 part to this question. I just have to be good about using Bedmuth and algebra because it's saying let V equal 80, substitute and solve. So calculator question, 80 squared times 0 0.0066 plus 0 0.14 times 80, and I get 53.44. So a car traveling at 80 kilometers per hour needs 53.4 meters to stop. So, I mean, that's just a good thing to think about. 53.4 meters is nothing to sneeze at. And 80 kilometers per hour is sort of highway speed if you're not on the 401. So 53 meters, hmm. Anyway, there's the math. Let's look at part B. Determine the greatest speed at which a car can be traveling in order to have a stopping distance of 95. So now it's telling me the stopping distance is 95. So we have 95 meters in which to stop the car. What is the greatest speed that we can be traveling at to stop safely? So it's saying find V when D is 95. So we're going to substitute D for 95. And that gives me this. So how do I solve in an expression like this? Well, we've got V squared, so we know it's a quadratic. So we need to make it equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, we can do things like try factoring or completing the square or what I'm probably going to do, which is use the quadratic formula. So there we go. A x squared plus B x plus C. Let's use the quadratic equation and we'll solve. So V equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four a c all of this is divided by 2 a so calculators please we know that this is 0 0.1 negative 0 point ooh i added an extra zero in there we don't want to do that 
We know that this is negative 0 0.14, and it's going to be divided by 2 times 0 0.0066, so 0 0.0132. So let's see what the discriminant is. And again, hopefully you're able to do this in one step in your calculator. Um, it's it, part of being able to be, part of being strong at math is understanding how your calculator does math. Which is why, you know, you're not supposed to borrow calculators. You're supposed to have the same one every day. So under that square root sign, I get 2.5276. So let's split into our two distinct answers. Oops. So extend page. So for one answer, hold on, I'm trying to hold my calculator and my tablet. It's not working so great. Let me fix this. So I get a velocity. So V equals negative 0 0.14 plus 1.6 over 0 0.0132 or v equals negative 0 0.14 minus 1.6 and again calculator time please let's calculate both of these so I get an answer of 110.6 kilometers per hour. Seems reasonable considering what we did in part A. Or, can you hear the music in the background? Probably not. It's a good song. It's a nice remix. Or negative 131.8. Well, we don't measure velocity or speed in a negative sense. So we're going to cross this out and call it inadmissible. Again, you should know that word. So this answer is algebraically correct, but inadmissible in the context of the question. And therefore, here's my answer. You can be traveling 110.6 kilometers per hour and bring the car to a stop in 95 meters or less. Okay, that was the entire question. So that's the entire video. Question number four done. And maybe I'll see you over at question number five. Bye for now.